Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm back with another video. So today's video is gonna be a first impressions kind of review type video. One of them's a foundation and the second one is a pressed powder. They are both drugstore. So if you wanna know what products they are and you wanna see how they worked for me, go ahead and keep on watching. Both the products together combined came out to about $7. So one of them was three something. The other one was also three something. And um, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like, subscribe, hit the bell button so you can be notified when I post something new. And also, if you guys do go ahead and grab these products, send me pictures of how your makeup came out, or post a picture and tag me in it, or comment down below how you guys liked it and how they worked out for you, I'd really love to know. Thanks, guys. Bye. Okay, so the first item for this first impressions video will be the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Foundation in the shade Golden Beige. Looks like this. I got it at Walmart for $3 and it's been pretty scratched up. Probably like while they were stalking or something, I'm not sure. And Oh, it also comes with numbers, so I don't know how the Wet n Wild website works, but if they don't have like shade names, the number is 368C. It says, Goodbye Photo Flashback. Helps eliminate white particle reflection. And then it says, Tested under 7 light conditions um, with smartphone models and with and without flash so it's been tested under clear blue sunlight sky outdoors pm indoors pm electronic flash fluorescent lights bathroom lights and nightclub delivers virtually flawless and buildable coverage every single time so I'm gonna try it. Um, already primed my face prior to turning the camera on. And guys, the only reason I got this foundation is because one, I seen a few YouTubers use it, and then two, look at it comes with. If you haven't watched my um, first video, which is to get ready with me, then you wouldn't know this so you should go watch that but if you have watched it you would know that I've been looking for a um, drugstore foundation with a spatula so excited so I'm just gonna use this little Mary Kay mirror that my sister gave me a long time ago it's pretty dirty back here I just cleaned the um, glass part of it so, let's just get started. Now, the packaging doesn't say that it's full coverage, so I'm not expecting it to be, but I got this much all on my face to blend out with um, dipping it three times in there, but then I also take off access, like if there were nail polish, you know what you do with your nail polish, you like take off the access drops, so that's what I did. So let's see how this works. Um, again, it doesn't say it's full coverage, so if it's not full coverage, we'll just have to build it up. Hopefully it is, we'll see. So, it doesn't look so good on camera. I feel like it looks better in person. But I'm just going to change the lighting really quick in here. Okay, so hopefully that helped with the lighting a little bit. It looks way better in person, I feel like, than it does on camera. But um, definitely not full coverage, so I'm just going to build it up just a little bit. I did bring it onto my eyelid, and I always say... Don't forget to get your devil chin. So I did just pat it down. You're gonna look funny a little bit, but you know, 
showing your double chin and shit, but you gotta do what you gotta do. So I'm just gonna build it up just a little bit. I'm not even gonna add as much foundation as I did the first time. Just I'm just trying to get a little bit more coverage. I think that's just what you would need to do with this foundation if you got it. You just need to build it up. Um, maybe just go in with it twice. And if you want like super full coverage, maybe three times. But I like the coverage that it's giving me. It's like medium to full and that's what I like. So I'm just going to go ahead and leave it like this. And now I'm going to move on to my eyes. And I'm just going to go in with this ALF Ultra HD Highlighter in the shade Light. And I think today I'm feeling a little extra, so I think I'm going to go with this under my eyes. Mm, no, I'm not. I'm just going to go on my eyelids um, real quick. And I just do that, put one, like one or two strokes on it, and I blend it out with my Beauty Blender. So I did try the Beauty Blender in a microwave thing a few weeks ago, and honestly guys, it really worked. I'm not sure how the people, like, sorry I was completely blocking you guys, I'm not sure how the people like did it that posted videos to cool down so fast or maybe they just cut that out of their video but I had to warm mine up so I put it in a cup with dish soap um, mixed it around and then I put this in there and then I put it in the microwave for three minutes yeah it was a total of three minutes and then when I took it out, it was way too hot to squeeze out all. And usually I'm fine with hot water. Like, I'll wash the dishes with boiling hot water. Um, but it was way too hot, so I just let it sit for an hour. And then once it cooled down after that hour, I went ahead and um, went and squeezed it out. And I just squeezed it all out. And all the makeup and soap was coming out. I kept squeezing till all the soap came out. I don't know how the other people did it so fast. Again, maybe they cut that out their video. But it did work. Maybe I'll do a video on that. Maybe. But yeah, it definitely worked. And it got all out. It was really clean after. So that's done. I just blended that out. So now I'm going to do a quick little makeup look. Um, I'm not sure exactly what I want to do yet. I think I'm going to play around with some colors. Uh, feeling a little risky today. I think I'm going to go in with... No, I don't think I am going to go in with this BH Cosmetics Smoky Eye 28 Color Eyeshadow Palette. And my friend gave this to me a while back, and I haven't used it in a while. And it has, like, sweet, like, red, pinkish, purplish, and then it goes into darker colors. So, I'm going to go ahead and go in with that. Okay, so, this eye is really not cooperating. But whatever, I'm just going to go with it, and if it doesn't look good at the end, I'll just wipe it off. <clears throat> and then, I'm just going to go in with... Actually, I'm going to go in on this Wet n Wild um, Color Icon Not a Basic Peach Palette. And I'm just going to go in with this orange right here. Okay, 
powder guys so that color is not really peeking through so I'm just gonna mix this orange one with this brown one so I actually really like the way it's coming out and now now I'm just gonna go in with this color right here and this is in the BH Cosmetics Natural Eyes color palette or eyeshadow palette whatever again my friend gave this to me a while back shout out to Crystal and now I'm just gonna go in with this flat brush from e.l.f. it's a flat eyeshadow brush and I'm gonna go in with a shimmery color from the Wet n Wild palette. I think I'm just gonna go in with this nice little gold shimmery one. Or, hmm. Actually, I think I'm gonna go in with a bronze one. Just right here. And I like to spray mine when I'm going in with shimmer color. I like to spray it, spray the brush with um, setting spray. So that's basically it. Now for the second item on this first impressions video is going to be this Rimmel London Stay Matte. Long lasting press powder says um, up to five hours natural shine control with natural minerals. Helps minimize the appearance of pores. My primer already minimized my pores, so let's see if it does some more. And I'm just gonna use this to set my entire face. doesn't have a lot of cake up so you kind of have to like it doesn't have a lot of cake up so you kind of have to um, go in there with the brush like into the product guys I was bronzing my face and I set it down on my counter and look what happened So that's the finished look. Um, for the pressed powder, I wouldn't really recommend it if you don't like to keep digging in. Um, I liked it. It made my face look super smooth and it was super lightweight. But again, you have to keep digging into there and. Um, it has a little bit of flashback, or maybe I just got the wrong color for me. But I think that's what it was. I got the wrong color. And the foundation, I really love the foundation. It's super lightweight. Feels like you have nothing on. It looks like you have nothing on, just like your face is smoother and your blemishes are not as noticeable. So I really like that. It is me, um, medium to full, full coverage after you build it up a little bit. So if you don't build it up, it's gonna have no coverage but yeah guys that's basically it I really hope you guys enjoyed this video today and stay tuned for a naked and pregnant story time and let me know what else you guys want to see in the comments down below also before you go hold up don't go just yet hit that like button hit that subscribe button and hit the little bell button so you can be notified whenever I post something new. I know I've been lacking, but more is coming. Trust me. Thanks, guys. Bye.
Me and my bitch took a little trip down to the garden.